What's up guys, it's Direct. Today, you're gonna learn tips to speed up your editing, make it more consistent, and then we're gonna test if a single setting can make you edit faster. I just got back from LA, and I have some big things coming for the channel, including a 100,000 subscriber giveaway. That's gonna be a huge thank you for your help building this awesome community we have, so make sure to follow me on Twitter at GetDirect for some more info on that. I've also started doing paid coaching lessons and gameplay reviews, which I'll get more info about at the end of the video if you're interested. So, we're running through an editing course I just made the other day. There are bigger and better ones out there, but this is just a simple one to test how much faster and smoother you can edit with edit mode aim assist on. Um, first, I'll give you editing tips and mistakes with edit aim assist off. Then I'll run down my thoughts and the differences with having it on. So you can see the course starts off. Is it gonna be this way? So you can see the course starts off with some simple wall edits. You can do these with simple triangles or the half arches. I always try to focus on where I start my edit. When I'm doing these edits, I already know I'm looking for a triangle edit. So I make sure my crosshair is at that middle right window before I start the edit. Then you can think of it as a quick line straight across or a little L drag. These are great for when you're running through them, but I would also recommend practicing a top triangle edit. You should still do the lower triangles to run through, but if you're box fighting someone one-on-one, -on -one, then it's gonna be a lot better if you do the top edit. You can see in the side clip over here that you have a lot more cover when you do the top edit versus just having the under edit. If you have the under edit, there's no way for you to actually be covered. You're very exposed. Um, whereas if you have the top edit, you can get some easy headshots and duck behind cover. After that, you have some ramp edits, which can do any combo of half stairs and reversals. The one key difference you'll notice when I am doing these is that if a ramp is facing towards me, what I'll do is I'll look straight up for the edit so I can make it a little bit sooner. A common mistake, especially if you have a low sensitivity, is looking straight ahead the whole time. You would have to be like a step away from the ramp to start the edit, but because you're running, you'll almost be under the ramp by the time you can actually start drawing it. It's way easier to just look up and give yourself the extra time. From there, it's just some simple side jumps where I like to just aim the direction that I need to run and then I look down and place the floor. My biggest weakness is half ramp edits. This is part because I don't practice them as much and part because I confirm my edit too soon. So I just try and fly through them too quickly. If you guys make the same mistake as me, my best advice is to practice them slowly and do them with less of a sense of urgency. And what I mean is really make sure you get to the end of the edit before confirming it. It's almost like you don't care if you get them done quickly, and then over time they'll become more fluid. Another thing I like to do that I actually got from Mr. Savage M is to do pointless edits throughout the game. So if I'm just running around or not doing anything, then I'm just gonna be practicing random edits just for the heck of it and warming them up in game for no reason. Editing whenever you have time is an easy way to get extra practice in a variety of situations. Ow. Dude, I think I need a gaming chair. I've been using this kitchen chair as my chair for the last year and a half and I've messed with it so much I guess that it's literally like breaking off the back and there's just a giant wooden stake that is shoving into my ass. Anyway though, uh, let's fast forward here so we can get to the edit aim assist comparison. By the way, I did change my creator code to something a little more official. So if you feel like going on a spending spree and wanna buy everything in the shop, give me a little extra profit, use code direct. Oh, the one other wall edit I added in is little snaking edits. Um, I guarantee that just like me, this is your least practiced wall edit, even though it's super common to die to it in the most terrible, aggravating way. I know these angles are kind of weird for myself to try and edit, especially in rapid succession. So take these slow until they feel more natural. At the end though, we end up with the time of 2.13. A higher time is better. Um, I didn't play Fortnite at all when I was in LA. So even though I've practiced a decent amount in the past and have a lot of that muscle memory down, I feel really rusty with my edits since this is one of my first time playing in three to four weeks. So now let's compare that to having edit aim assist on. Um, it feels really like sticky. It drags you to the center of whatever block you're closest to, uh, which is why it feels so weird. As you'll notice here on this wall that I am about to demo right over here, if you start your edit and then just leave it in the middle of a square or try and move it left and right, it's always gonna drag it to the center of that X. So if you do actually keep aim assist off, a huge way to practice and get better is to focus on starting and ending every one of your edits in the middle of these X's so you have more room for mistakes. Overall though, I will say edit aim assist feels a lot easier to edit, especially since I didn't play for so long and I kind of feel closer to an average skill level. I got kind of lazy with these edits with edit aim assist on just because I felt like I could fly through them really easily, um, which is bad, but they still end up working a lot of times, which was kind of surprising for me. Honestly, I'd suggest trying this out um, again for yourself either way. 
you can use my course code, which is above and should be on screen here. If you have a low aiming sensitivity and you want to edit faster, I probably recommend that you bump up your editing sensitivity, at least until you feel comfortable with the speed. But I actually think I'm going to play on this for a while and see how consistent my edits are because they feel a lot more fluid and it's a lot easier to do these. I feel like I have to do less work, which is awesome because I don't really want to do any work. Who wants to actually do any work, you know? Who wants to... Why, why do extra work when you can just turn on a setting and you can get instantly better, you know? So try it out for yourself, see if you like it. I have noticed one issue with it though. A lot of times I'll make an edit and I'll just barely reach the last square of a wall edit, let's say. And I'll confirm it and it'll be fine when I have it off. But because aim assist drags so heavily, you might just barely eclipse the last square but you'll be dragged back to the other one and it'll make the wrong edit altogether or it'll just cancel it out. Like I said, it feels a lot smoother to do these edits in general and I know some of the best console editors in the game use it. If you want to get individual coaching sessions from me, DM me on Twitter or email me at directyt at gmail.com. I can do one-on-one -on -one creative sessions for half an hour where we can practice your building step by step and I can also do gameplay reviews where I'll run through all of your decisions, your positioning, aiming, building, and give you my full list of personalized tips and drills to improve. A 30 minute creative session is going to be $20 and the gameplay reviews are going to be $30 since they take me a full hour to run through. I'm still focusing on YouTube and Twitch full time. So I'm pricing it this way because I still don't have a ton of free time, but I do want to offer that coaching for any of you that want to take your game to the next level. But at the end of this, we have an awesome time of 212. So we are literally one second slower than without aim assist. <laughs> um, they're pretty comparable. I will say I messed up a bunch in both of these edit courses, but if you're not a great editor or you want to try bumping up your editing sensitivity and get a little faster at them, I'd recommend turning this on. Either way, I think you guys should try this out for yourself and see how you feel with it. Anyway, I'm stoked to be back guys and I'm really excited with how our family is going to keep growing. I'm still putting together some of the details for the huge subscriber giveaway we're going to do. Um, I also, I'm not sure yet, but we might start making some merch. We got this fresh new logo for the channel um, that my buddies hooked me up with. So I may be offering that if you guys are interested as well. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.